All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you out there and just like me right here. Been talking about Foreigner a lot lately, and this video is going to be all about Foreigner. Um, this is a great album that came out about 10 years ago. Foreigner, the hits unplugged featuring Kelly Hansen on lead vocals, right? Uh, I know. Kelly's not the greatest singer. Lou Graham is a better singer. But guess what? Kelly is really great on this. The production value is through the roof. If you haven't heard uh, the hits, unplugged, check it out. Remember back in the early 90s when everything was going unplugged, unplugged and seated, uh, all of that stuff. And uh, it was all really good. Um, it's just the songs, I think, if they're, if they're really good, when they're stripped down, um, they're going to be even better. And in this case, that is true. Um, 11 songs. So you could do that with songs that aren't big hit songs and maybe turn them into hit songs. Nah, because the radio wouldn't play it. So never mind. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just kind of you know, my mind goes to weird places here. Maybe you can unplug your whole catalog and put it back out there and see. Maybe somebody will be interested in listening to it. Um, Foreigner is going to be playing a show over at the Barbara B. Mann Performing Arts Center. And uh, that is happening on November 19th. That's like pretty, pretty close to where I live, like one town over, although it's, a, it's still kind of a long drive probably 30, maybe 40 minutes to get over there. Um, but still, it's close. Uh, by the standards that I typically have to travel, it's fairly close. So I'm thinking, hey, you know, maybe I will look into getting some foreigner tickets. So I'm on the website, and I'm going to do a screen share here, which I don't typically do, but I think this is interesting. So um, here's the show. Here are the ticket prices. So your, your cheapest seat is $64.50, right? Then you get to 94, 119, and then 144.50. Um, so they give you the bio on Foreigner, you know, 80 million records sold, 16 top 30 hits. Uh, audio and video streams of Foreigner's hits are over 15 million per week, right? So yeah, people say, well, when are they going to call it quits? I'm like, really? You're going to call it quits with this kind of uh, output here? I mean, yeah, they don't have songs on the radio currently, but, well, they do, but they don't have new songs on the radio currently. But that doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't. This is what keeps a band like Foreigner going. Thus, this is why Kelly Hansen has a job, and this is why Mick Jones, at some point, is probably going to be enjoying his retirement, and he's not going to feel bad about it. So those ticket prices are already too high for me. They're already too high. I know $64.50, if it was $64.50 per ticket, keep in mind, here's, here's the little disclaimer, prices do not include processing fee and sales tax, okay? So what's the processing fee going to be like? Sales tax is, I think, 6.5%. So let's hit the button here and see where that takes us, right? So, okay, so we'll, we'll hit find tickets because it's a lot of fun. You know, if you want to do this for me and send me, <laughs> send me the tickets, that'll be great. All right, do it by seat, do it by price. Let's click on price. Let's do um, best available. I really always like to do that. By the way, I like to be not in a nosebleed section. But the $68 price point, see how that went up a little bit? That's with the sales tax now. So um, I'm going to select two tickets. So I'm already uh, with this. I'm looking at, what, 130 bucks minimum. Now, it's best available. So let's see where that will bring me. And here we go. So you got two tickets. Whoa. <laughs> So we went from, in my brain, thinking $130, and now we're at $237.02. So 
holy crap, Batman. And this is why I'm probably not going to be going to a lot of concerts. Now, uh, the tickets are in the front balcony, all right? Which uh, <laughs> sounds like it's in a great place, right? Front balcony. Let's see if I can go back. Um, my guess is front balcony, mezzanine balcony. So what's weird about Barber B. Man is that um, the balcony is kind of off to the side and it looks over the arena in that direction. It's really kind of weird. Um, so here's the stage and here's where I would be right here for $237. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I know I only have six minutes left to get these tickets uh, paid for, but uh, it ain't happening. So this is why I don't go to concerts. This is why I just think to myself, then I'm going to have to park the car and the parking is probably going to be at least 20 bucks to park the car. I don't want to buy anything inside, you know, minimum. You could buy like some popcorn, cost you like eight bucks for a barrel of popcorn, small container. Um, a beer. We already know about the $14 beers. They're really tasty, right? Um, they're also 14 bucks. So you're looking at at least a $300, if not more, excursion. That's if you're keeping it, you know, at the low end of the pricing spectrum, right? And I'm, I'm in the balcony. I'm nowhere near the stage and I'm looking at 300 bucks. This is why I don't go to concerts. I would prefer to go see a band somewhere uh, locally for like a 10 or $15 cover charge. And I don't do that anymore. But if I was going to do that, um, that would be the smart thing. Uh, sometimes, every now and then, I will go to a local blues bar, which, uh, again, uh, you're seeing very talented, skillful musicians, but you're not seeing the internationally acclaimed foreigner with one original member who may only be on stage for 45 minutes. And again, I'm not, I've been defending Kelly Hansen and defending the fact that he's been there for 17 years and now all of a sudden, you know, he's a mimic, right? He's just miming the parts. Um, I think he's great. Um, but I don't think he's 237 plus dollars great. You know what I mean? This is not, this is just a bad trend. And I know everything, you go to the store, you go to the gas pump. So how about some entertainment relief? No, because everything is so inflated now that you have to pay this much money for everybody to make some decent money off of this. But I wonder how much are these guys making off of a full arena of people spending $237 per ticket. Keep in mind, Florida in November, we've got what we call the snowbirds who are here. Uh, they come down in October and they typically go back home in the month of May. And a lot of these people, they've got income to burn. They've got disposable income where they have $237 probably rolling around uh, in the front seat of their car, you know, I mean, figuratively speaking, maybe not literally, but 237 is probably burning a hole in their wallet. So I don't think it's a real stretch for those people to purchase tickets, but for the people who are more working class, more middle class, middle of the road, maybe, um, you know, lower middle class, whatever, however you want to designate it, uh, this is really a bridge too far to purchase tickets for a show like this. And then you look at where the band is, what they used to be, what they are now, where you're going to be seated, um, the struggle to get in and out of the building, the fact that you're not near a restroom, most likely if you're in the balcony, maybe there's one behind there. I, I, I don't know the arena well enough to know the layout. But I can tell you, it is a struggle to get in and out. I saw Chicago there. I saw Little River Band there. And uh, it's, a, it's a good seat no matter where you are. I think at LRB, I was way back. 
and it was good, but I didn't feel really that connected to what was happening on stage. And if I'm going to go to a show, I'd rather, you know, really get the best experience possible. And uh, this won't be that. And uh, it'll be a lot of hard-earned money for a night, which I'm sure I'll remember, but it's nothing compared to the stuff that I went to when I was in my teens and 20s, some of the greatest concerts you could ever imagine. And ticket prices like 15 bucks. I had ticket stubs or like eight bucks, 10 bucks. And you were on the floor, you were seated close to the stage for the most part. I mean, yeah, there were times where I got nosebleed tickets. I think the Aussie and Metallica show in Worcester, I was way, way back there. I think I spent like 12 bucks on the ticket. So, you know, no harm, no foul there, right? And, uh, you know, my ears were bleeding, but if you're gonna see a show, a really loud show, you want Metallica opening up for Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, and being inside the metallic tin can of the Worcester Centrum where you get a lot of echo and vibration. But hey, it's a memory, I have it. I'm probably not gonna be able to top seeing Steve Perry in 1981 on the Escape Tour. There are certain things that I've done that can't be topped. People will say, well, you know, you're just using your experiences to kind of make everybody else feel bad. I'm just telling you how it is. I mean, nothing's coming along as an experience that will replace what these bands were in their prime, right? I mean, what we're trying to do now is hold on to past glory. And for $237, which some would say, yeah, that's cheap, Dave. I spent, you know, $1,500 to see Paul McCartney. 80-year-old Paul McCartney went and spent $1,500. Well, I've seen the footage, and I would have stayed home. There were people that got stuck in traffic trying to get to the McCartney concert, and they never actually got there. And they had to eat those tickets. They couldn't get a refund because of the traffic jam. I don't have that kind of disposable income. I mean, things are different. You know, there's rampant inflation. Uh, we're technically in a recession, even though the government keeps saying, no, it's not really a recession. It's a recession. So anyway, um, you know, if somebody wants to send me a couple of tickets to see Foreigner, say, you know, you're a wealthy person and you feel bad for me. Um, don't feel bad because it's it's going to be a lot of work going to Foreigner and I'm okay. I'm, I'm completely fine. I've got the Unplugged Hits album here. Uh, behind me, I've got the uh, Foreigner extended versions live when they had Jason Bonham in the band. And I can listen to that and I can feel the music and I crank it up here in the studio and uh, rock the place and then have the wife knock on the door and say, can you turn that down just a little bit? say, hey, I'm saving us $237. And then, you know, she'll probably understand. So that's my video on the topic. Way too expensive to go see Foreigner, sorry. And these aren't very good tickets. So, you know, maybe I should have gotten in earlier and figured this out sooner. I would have been paying even more money and I would have had even more of a, of a reluctance to go ahead and uh, hit the purchase button. Speaking of buttons, don't forget to um, <laughs> hit the subscribe button and also uh, Patreon for a dollar a month. If you want to hit that button. Hey, you know, if 237 people, well, they have to do it twice. So I have to double that. Or 237 people give me $2, right? Then I'm off to Foreigner. <laughs> no, don't worry. I'm not going to waste your money on that. We're going to continue to build the platform and uh, do more videos and uh, have great conversations over on Patreon about music and politics and culture and all the stuff that I have been talking about recently. Until the next video, my name is Dave and I will see you soon.